may remember this video. Now he says it's in retaliation against Harrison City leaders who aren't doing enough to address his zoning concerns. In a story you'll see only on Local 12, Chelsea Six spoke with that man and the people he's accusing of prompting the protest. Steve Hickey says his family owns this home here on Harrison Avenue. He shared with me this detailed report expressing his concerns about this business, Hilltop Performance, just across the street. I took his concerns to these owners who tell me they're doing nothing wrong. Hilltop Performance Off-Road has been open in Harrison for decades. 20 years ago, the conditional use for this property allowed for no more than eight cars on this lot at a time. You can see now there are far more. Steve Hickey and his family own several properties nearby. He says he doesn't want to look at this. I went to the zoning. I asked them to uh, uh, approach um, Hilltop Performance and uh, asked them to please just tell them to clean up their property. He says months have gone by without changes. In response, Hickey put Confederate flags and dozens of toilets on his properties complete with a welcome to Harrison sign with the mayor's name on it. That's nothing more than a protest of saying, hey, if you're going to make make all of us look at something nasty, then the city of Harrison government can look at something. The FCMAN's own Hilltop Performance and say they were surprised to hear their property was at the center of this protest. And so at this point, the city has not reached out to you all telling you needed to change anything about your business. Absolutely not. They have not said we need to change anything. They said we are a very successful business in the city of Harrison. They're happy to have us. Harrison Mayor Ryan Grubb says commercial property zoning requirements have changed. In a statement, he said, quote, Hilltop Performance Accessories does not have any violations. They have been good community partners and the owners have been accommodating as the city has made adjustments in its zoning requirements. Annie says she and other members of the community were offended by the use of the Confederate flag. We would never want that associated with us as people or us as a business. I don't know why society has become offended by everything. They're offended by the air they breathe nowadays, and I don't know why. He claims it's nothing more than a statement against the city. I just don't understand why the city ignores this when they can see it just like anybody else can see it. The owners here at Hilltop Performance tell me they've outgrown this property and had already planned to move their business by the end of this year. Reporting in Harrison, Chelsea Sick, Local 12 News. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.